Murals painted around downtown Detroit are caught up in controversy. Tuesday, Detroit City Council members voting not to pay for the work. The city says a department had failed to present the contract before that work began. And 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham questioned the city attorney about the snafu and a local artist who took issue with the project in the first place. This is one of six murals painted in the city of Detroit that's part of the Detroit Be the Change project. As of now, the city says the artists behind the work are not entitled to payment. Let's, let, let's be clear. Uh, mistakes occur. This is a, a billion dollar corporation. Occasionally people do make errors. The mistake, as witnessed during Tuesday's city council meeting, is that City of Detroit Planning and Development Director Antoine Bryant signed off on a contract granting $215,000 to the nonprofit behind six murals. If you've been downtown, you may have seen some of them. They're complete. The problem, Bryant never presented the contract to city council. Per the city charter, city council must review and approve a contract before payments can be made. I spoke with the city's corporation council, attorney Conrad Mallet. The city council responsibility to make the approval, that's a crucial step that was not done. Does the city have an obligation to pay? So right now, in the absence of uh, city council approval, we will not be uh, responding to an invoice uh, submitted by the vendor. The vendor is New York-based nonprofit Street Art for Mankind which hired six muralists from all over the world to fly in and paint the murals. The artists are not local. Mallet says that's one reason City Council may have voted down the contract if Council had a chance to review it in the first place. Now, he says the vendor will likely sue the city and circuit court, demanding payment because the planning and development director signed off on the contract. The judge may then very uh, well conclude uh, that services were rendered for which the city of Detroit uh, uh, benefited and then may order the city to make payment. You know, we don't even mind other artists from other cities um, coming in, just, you know, give us an opportunity. It wasn't even brought to our doorsteps. I spoke uh, with Feli, a Detroit-based, internationally you know, known artist. He's award. one of a number of local uh, artists who right. raise concerns about the project and the artist selection process. He says he feels for the artists who did the work, but what's happening now is an eye opener. You know, they're actually paying attention and, and getting on top of it because there's a protocol. I reached out to Street Art for Mankind and all six muralists individually. As of news time, I have not heard back. In Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.